So this week, the ANC in KZN did exactly what we all knew it was going to do. It pronounced on Dr. Zuelim Kize as its preferred candidate to take the ANC forward. The Zuelim Kize of Digital Vibes. The Zuelim Kize who still owes the country some sort of answers about what happened. The same Zuelim Kize who believes the SIU, that's a specialized investigative unit, is out to get him and is trying to deal with him in an unfair manner. What was fascinating to observe, more funny than fascinating really, was that four-page statement that dropped at midnight from former President Jacob Zuma. Now, if you're a journalist or an observer of politics during his era as head of state, you'll remember sleepless nights waiting for midnight cabinet reshuffles, midnight updates about anything that was important. In fact, even his resignation came just towards midnight uh, in those final days of his leadership. So he drops a statement saying, uh, number one, Dr. Nkosa Zanazamini Zuma is still the only capable leader to take the ANC forward. So he throws in support for her, makes it publicly known. We've kind of heard and known that that's who he wants. And he said, I have not shifted from 2017. And then he puts his own hand up and says, you know what, I'm also available. I can be chairperson of the ANC. 81-year-old, gravely ill, terminally ill, from a president, Jacob Zuma, now wants to come back. The same man who once criticized from a president, Tabumbeki, for wanting to rule from the grave. But what was interesting about the statement, it almost felt like a desperate cry. Desperate cry for help because it almost said he understood that the jig was up. For now, former President Zuma has always believed that the tourists who keep making their way to Nkandla, yes, there's always a line of politicians going in and out, he seemed to believe that that actually meant he mattered in the politics of today. He actually doesn't. He's been used for political expediency. He was an easy thing to lean on from my observations for people to say, yeah, but we love Zuma and you treated Zuma unfairly. That was an easy pick to use to fight political battles. When it mattered the most, where a PEC that went to his house and had tea and drinks and cool drinks and had meat, it promised all manner of things to Zuma. It showed commitment and love to Zuma. But where it mattered the most, where the PEC had to show it, it ignored him. It ignored his candidate. Instead, choosing Dr. Zulim Kize, Zuma would have liked Dr. NDZ. That didn't happen. It ignored his hand for him to be considered for chairperson, backing what Gauteng and Limpopo want. The other thing that the PEC did this week was completely defy Khalima Mutlanta's letter, which said that what PEC, PECs are doing is undemocratic. Khalima Mutlanta had cautioned against PECs making their own pronouncements, saying, Branches must be able to determine what happens without any influence. KZN, after the letter, said, well, the horse had long bolted. You failed to stop it at the beginning of the year when leaders were pronouncing. You can't do it now, saying that Khalima Mutlante is actually correct, however, has been overtaken by events. So they, too, will ignore it and go ahead and pronounce. What happens now is AC branches are continuing with branch general meetings, where they are continuing to nominate. They have until the 2nd of October to complete this process. And after that will be what they call provincial general councils. The PGCs are where the boxes will be opened and the numbers will be consolidated. And you'll know what the branches really want from the different provinces as opposed to what the PECs have said. Will these mirror what the PECs want? I don't think so. People who support Zulim Kize in KZN have made it very clear to people who are lobbying and working with Paul Mashatile that when it comes down to it, branches in Gauteng must pronounce Zulim Kize and not Cyril Ramaphosa as the Gauteng PEC has recently done. So there's a lot of um, smoke and mirror in how this conference is playing itself out. My reading has always been that these politicians are absolutely trying to manage one another. The pronouncements that you've heard, don't believe it. Don't believe a word. Wait for the branches, and then the real game begins.